guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be part two of my last Ship With Me video that I uploaded. I'm just going to be continuing on with this stretch of sales. So let's go ahead and pick back up where we left off. Um, our next sale is a three-piece bundle. The first item is this White House Black Market embroidered floral size 14 dress. This is beautiful and the embroidery is so high quality. I actually got this dress from the Thread Up Basement, which honestly is such a distant memory at this point, unfortunately. I loved that store. So it was an actual, um, you know, like brick and mortar uh, store. It was located inside of a mall, actually. It was Thread Up's like rejects and stuff that didn't have sizes. I don't know why this piece in particular was rejected because I, I, there's nothing wrong with it. Some items had no flaws. They were just rejected kind of arbitrarily. So next piece in the bundle is this logo space dye sweater. This is a cashmere blend. I probably would not have picked it up if it were, were not a cashmere blend um, just because it's so plain. Usually they have really cute prints and styles to them, um, but the cashmere did elevate the quality on this sweater. And um, we have one more item, which I will pack next. But yeah, back to the Fred Up outlet. I really miss that store. It was only open in Houston uh, really not very long. I forget... I think it was only about four months that it was open, four or five months, and I think everything, so the first day that I went there, everything in the store was 50 cents, and I got so many amazing pieces. I will link that haul down below um, to that store. I found some amazing items there, and some items, some brands that I never found here in Houston. Um, because the pieces that were sold in that store were shipped there from all around the country. Um, and the third piece in this bundle is this anthropology tank. It has fish. It has a fish print. How adorable is that? I picked this up based on the novelty print. I thought it was so precious. Um, this would be adorable to wear to the beach or any kind of like outdoor outing. It's also 100% cotton, so it's lightweight and breathable. And this bundle, um, the buyer bundled the three and sent me a $60 offer. Once again, it is a one of my repeat buyers, so thank you so much for shopping with me. Um, of course, I accepted her offer of $60. I thought that was an awesome offer for this bundle. I have had all of these pieces for quite some time. Um, they are all really nice, unique pieces, but, um, you know, they were just waiting for the right buyer to come along. And my earnings were $48.00. I paid about $7 for everything, and so my net profit came out to $41. Okay, next, another bundle. This is a really nice bundle. So we have a Barefoot Dreams chocolate brown hoodie. So soft. This is like the king of comfort, this brand, Barefoot Dreams. If you ever find it, it's in good good condition and it's a good style, I would highly recommend you pick it up. People seem to love it. I love it as well. And both this hoodie and the second item to sell were both very newly listed items. Um, they both were listed within this month. So... I love a quick sale. And second piece is this J. Crew Collection 100% Cashmere Size Extra Large Cardigan. I was very excited to find this. I was even more excited when I examined it and saw that there were no stains or holes. If you're
you're familiar with cashmere, I'm sure you know that it is prone to getting holes. But this, I swear, I looked it over maybe like at least five times and I found no flaws. So very, very happy about that. So yeah, this is a really nice, cat or, um, comfortable, soft, cozy bundle here. And the buyer bundled the two items. I sent her a $65 offer with discounted shipping, which he did accept, making my earnings $49.54. I did pay $2 a piece for these pieces making my net profit $45.54 on this bundle. Alrighty, I'm running out of thank you, thank you stickers, so I have a few backups here. I am seriously, I need to get my life together with supplies. I'm making an Amazon order after I finish shipping here. So our next piece, this is a Torrid maxi dress. Really pretty, it is a purple tie-dye print. I loved picking this up. It's a size 4X, which is awesome. I love finding plus size pieces in great condition. And also, tie-dye is such a trending print. Um, so yeah, this had multiple things going for it. I talk about it all the time, but I think of things in terms of marketability points. So with this dress, we have one point for the size, it's a plus size, one point for the trendy print, tie-dye. And I would say another point for the fact that it's a maxi dress. Maxi dresses are always pretty popular, so um, this was a no-brainer pickup for me, especially at my outlet. So the buyer offered me, actually I lowered this for closet clear out. Um, I only lowered a couple pieces and this one sold, so that was great. I lowered it to $28. It was purchased, so my earnings were $22.40 and my net profit was $20. Okay, next. Um, next are, is this pair of Easy Spirit little flats. They're like a metallic flat. I actually got these in a thread up box. I paid six dollars for them and with these I was just looking to make my money back on. I I knew these were not going to be a big money maker in the box but as long as I can make my money back I'm happy because then I can just you know focus on making a better profit on the more winners of the box without these pieces kind of um, you know hindering me, I guess you'd say. And not that these are like a bad style or anything. They're just not genuine leather and it's not really that reputable of a brand. Actually, Easy Spirit, I'm sure, I know it's very well known. Um, I would say it's just not a super sought after brand is what I would say. So, um, but they are a great everyday shoe for someone and I hope she enjoys them. They do seem very comfortable. They have some kind of like 360 technology to them. Did I say um, I made $10 on those shoes, so my net profit was only $4, which I'm happy with any profit, honestly, from those. Next, we have another bundle. It's a three-piece bundle. The first two items are clothing pieces. This is a Lula, LuLaRoe dress. I think this is maybe one of the only times I've ever sold LuLaRoe, and I actually grabbed this for me to wear on a beach trip, but I didn't end up wearing it, and so I listed it. And I have had it for about a year. Our second piece is this, I don't know how you say this, it's L apostrophe and then a Academy. It's a Revolve brand, or it's sold on Revolve, and it's this one shoulder top that ties on one side at the bottom hem. So super cute and a very chic piece here. I found this one at my regularly priced Goodwill store. Um, and I've had that top also, I would 
say six to nine months. Um, but you know, actually, I noticed that I didn't have the word revolve in the listing, which I should have had that because I think people search um, items or search. People use revolve as a keyword when they're searching for brands that are sold on the site. And so I uploaded the word when I noticed that recently and then it sold. So there you go. Be sure to use Revolve as a keyword if you're selling a piece that was sold on Revolve. And last piece in the bundle are these Bottega Veneta woven little slip-on like Mary Jane shoes. They're not slip-on. They're, they're like a loafer. And they have a little tie here. Super cute. These are a double A, so they are a narrow width. Um, I also got these in a thread up box. I'm pretty sure they put them in the box because they are that narrow width. And, um, you know, a smaller population of people have narrow feet. I myself have narrow feet, so there are people out there. Um, and Bottega Veneta is an amazing brand. So, um, yeah, these, these did definitely sit for a while just because, you know, they did take, um, they had kind of a specialty to them with that, you know, width. But the buyer bundled the three of these items and I sent her an offer of... $55 with a shipping discount. It was accepted. My earnings were $41.54. I paid $13 for everything, making my net profit $28.54. So I'm really happy with that. Um, like I was mentioning, I'm just kind of ready to move out those older items in my closet. Okay, next we have a bundle is a four piece bundle. I'm actually going to send her an extra top because she bundled three items um, like a week ago or so and I went to ship them and two, not one, but two of the items had flaws and I felt really bad about it and so I had to cancel the order and I'm just going to include one of the items that was in that canceled order. The one item that didn't have a flaw. I'm going to just throw that in to this order just because she definitely, she's a repeat buyer. She's super sweet. And yeah, I've mentioned that I like to establish good rapport with my buyers. So I think that'd be a nice thing to do. This is a little Free People jersey slouchy top. This is a Free People Fair Isle sweater. We have these two pieces. Did I say, did I say this was a four item bundle? So yeah, this is a four item bundle, but I am including a fifth piece if you get confused. So, um, then we have this Free People yellow slub style thermal knit long sleeve really cute I love this color and this is a piece that I'm just going to add in it's a little anthropology moth button back sweater long line um, so yeah I hope this makes her you know happy and I hope it's a fun surprise I don't know if she's a viewer actually so maybe she will be less surprised because she will have already seen this video and then lastly is this Lululemon tank top so this bundle um, I sent her an offer of $45 with, with discounted shipping again because I did feel bad about having to cancel that sale missing all of those flaws my earnings were $33 with 54 cents. I paid $10 for everything. So my net profit came out to $23 and 54 cents. And I would say the Lulu Lemon Tank, the Free People Purple Sweater were older items and then, and 
and also the the moth anthropology sweater was an older item and then the free people yellow top and the gray jersey top were newer items Alrighty, two-piece bundle here first off we have this madewell chambray ex-boyfriend button-down shirt this did have a small flaw it has a small stain towards the bottom hem it's really not too noticeable but you know obviously i did disclose it and the second item is this eileen fisher boxy 100 percent cotton zip up jacket this piece i have had for about a year i got it at the austin bins and the madewell shirt sold pretty much immediately the buyer of this bundle actually messaged me on instagram and asked me um, to tag her when it was uploaded and so I did and she immediately bundled the two so that was great she bundled them and then I sent her an offer of $32 with discounted shipping she did accept and so my earnings came out to $23 with 14 cents I paid about $3 for both of these items together so my net profit was $20 and I'm happy to move that Eileen Fisher jacket out. It's one of those items that's just kind of hard to photograph and it didn't really bring me joy having it in my closet just because it was hard to photograph and so, um, but it is a really nice piece in person. So yeah, I hope she enjoys it and I think she is a viewer. So thank you so much if you are watching this. Another bundle. This is an exciting bundle. So first is this Zara yellow. It's called a tube dress. That's a style T-U-B-E. It's a tie neck. It zips in the back. And I love this color for springtime. So this dress and the second dress in this bundle, I actually purchased from a friend. I think I bought about, I want to say 10 or 15 pieces. I paid her $200. Two of the pieces are really nice revolve dresses though, so I, I really paid more for those and less for these. This is a Lulu's floral dress, really pretty with some ruffles, and um, this was actually worn by Hannah Godwin on Bachelor in Paradise when she got engaged. I did include that in the description. That's always a good thing to add. If it's been worn by a celebrity, people really like Hannah Godwin. She is an influencer, and so I don't know if that helped the listing out. This is a repeat buyer. Thank you so much. She sent me an amazing offer of $90 on these. The two of them together were $110, and she sent me a $90 offer. So I was so happy about that. That meant that my earnings were $72. And that means that I can start chipping away at that $200 that I paid for everything. So, yeah, I'm really happy about that. And these are really, really pretty dresses. I think that Zara, the, the yellow Zara dress may have been a blogger favorite just because I some of them had sold for like $85 in the past. So, yeah, you never know with Zara... And there's no real way to know if it's a blogger favorite other than just kind of looking up comps. You can also type in Zara blogger favorite to Poshmark and a lot of people will put those keywords in their description so you can kind of find them that way. This is a Maji little swimsuit cover up slash dress. It's really cool. It has like a map of Africa print with some animals, zebras and giraffes. And I very recently listed this. This, I received an offer of $26. Someone said they saw it in a haul video. So thank you so much if you're watching this. My earnings were $20.80 on this. I paid, I actually got this on a Friday at my local outlet. So if you guys have been following my channel, you know that I go on Thursdays usually where everything is two dollars it gets cheaper by a quarter each day so on friday everything is a dollar 75 in the store 
and that's when I picked this up. And so my net profit on this was $19. So that's great. Very quick sale here. Their swimsuits used to be incredibly popular. I don't know how they resell to this day the swimsuits. Um, I never actually sold any when they were in their prime, so I would be curious to know what they go for these days. Next is an Escada cardigan. This is beautiful. It's a really nice kind of heavier weight. It's a very substantial feeling piece. And this was actually a two-piece set. It had a camisole that was of the same really nice material under it. And I actually sent this into ThreadUp Lux to sell it a long time ago. And they listed them separately for some reason. And the cardigan sold. So, and it sold, I think I made like 30 or $40 on the cardigan. It was just a black cardigan. So I thought that was so random. It seems like if one of the pieces were going to sell on their own, it would be the jacket and not the cardigan. But I was very happy to receive this back um, because, you know, I knew that it would sell eventually. And so someone sent me an offer this morning of $35, which I happily accepted, making my earnings $28. I, I paid, I want to say I paid $5 for the set at Goodwill. It could have been more, though. Um, so I ended up making a pretty decent profit on the set. Like I said, I think I made about $30 on just the cardigan. And on this jacket, I made $23. So yeah, very happy I picked up that set at Goodwill. Okay, last couple sales. We have a Goose Down puffer jacket by L.L. Bean. This is size extra large. And this is in amazing condition, no holes or flaws to um, the actual jacket itself. This jacket I'm going to add into the box here. I just add a piece of paper on top with a thank you sticker close it up. And this jacket was listed within this month. Yeah, this was in my last thrift haul. So the buyer sent me a $25 offer on this jacket, which I accepted. Actually, let me see. I think, yeah, I, so I lowered it to 28 for closet clear out just because I wanted to move it out before the weather warms up and Someone sent me, someone asked if I could sell it for $25 with discounted shipping. I let her know that I had just price dropped it, and so my lowest at this time was just $25 flat. And she ended up um, accepting my counter offer, I think, or she sent me an offer of $25. My earnings were $20 on it, and my net profit was $18. So that was great. I'm really happy that I could move it out. I wanted to at least get 20 for that because, you know, it is genuine down and it's a size extra large. It's also a reputable brand being L.L. Bean. And our last sale are these Eileen Fisher Cargo Army Green. They are a Lyocell Linen Blend, I believe. They're a size large. They're in great shape, so I was definitely happy to find these at my local outlet. The buyer sent me a $32 offer on these, which I accepted, making my earnings $25.60, and, um, and my net profit $23.60. with So that was awesome on these, a very quick sale. And that is it for my shipping today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for my huge thread up 
online outlet sourcing haul. I'm very excited to show you guys what I got. I have about 70 items and I did pay up for everything. So I think that should be interesting to show you guys what I'm willing to pay up for. I think I paid around $7 per item, which definitely is higher than my average cost of goods typically. Um, so yeah, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so you won't miss out when I upload that. Please feel free to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys soon. Bye, y'all.